Yeah, you get superior jump height and thrust, and woo! You can pop right out of the water. I want to knock him out so I can scan him. Drill him good, Brody. Got him. Yeah, he's out. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Subnautica. I'm just going over my to-do list here. It is long. We got lots to do today. All right, let's get up. Let's check that mail. We got this message the other day. Huh? What the? Uh, can you repeat that, please? Sorry, I don't speak monkey. What is that? We're gonna have to decode that message. That was really, really weird. There it is. Don't get it. All right, well, we'll uh, hopefully we'll find some kind of a decoder or something to figure out what the heck that was, some kind of alien wants to chat. Uh, all right, yeah, to-do list. So look at this list. Task number one, make a new suit, but we gotta make synthetic fibers and I should have everything we need to do that right here. No, 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 advanced materials. Yes, we got benzene and some fiber mesh. We got the benzene from the blood oil kelp down in the trenches when we were down there in the last couple of episodes. And now we can make a, oh, what, 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 this right here. How many diamonds? Right, diamonds. Okay, let's go get our diamonds. I did some organizing over here. Got my gemstones right there. Did it say two diamonds or one diamonds? I think it said two. Let's go find out. It said two diamonds and two titanium and one synthetic fibers. And let's whip that puppy up. Ooh. Finally, some new duds. Been wearing this other suit forever. Ooh, I think I saw some gloves there. Oh, I did. <laughs> it's a heavy synthetic fiber dive suit providing physical protection and enhanced survival in extreme temperatures. It does not provide radiation protection. So if we go back to the Aurora, we still have to put this guy back on, but that's all right. And the same with the heavy gloves. Super. All right, so let's put this in. Do I have a specific place for gear over here i don't think so we'll just chuck it in the uh office cabinet for now all right very good what's next on the to-do list upgrade brawny the prawn suit we gotta add a grapple arm a depth module and the new jet pack thrusters or whatever they're called so all right let's go do that let's go do that brawny's over here parked in the moon bay moon pool whatever it's called hey brawny gonna give you some upgrades here bro Where's my brawny upgrades? Here we go. Prawn suit upgrades. Depth module is a plasteel ingot, nickel, and ruby. We got tons of nickel down in that blood kelp trench place. So that's going to be pretty easy. Then we want to do this prawn suit jump jet upgrade. We need nickel, crystalline sulfur, lithium, and titanium. Easy peasy. And then this guy right here. Grappling arm. That one is going to be super awesome. Advanced wiring kit, benzene, lithium, titanium. Very, very easy. All right, let's go grab all the mats. I got them all. Got them all ready to go right here. So check out all the nickel we have. One full locker of nickel, a half full locker of crystalline sulfur. So yeah, we are rolling in the stuff now. All right, we got to make a plasteel ingot. And I'm not really sure how to do that. I think I've got everything I need. Yeah, titanium ingot and two lithium. Oh, we're gonna have to go back and grab some more lithium, actually. There we go, got it. And let's grab some more lithium. And I think, oh, we got plenty of lithium. I thought we were running low. Okay, let's go do this thing. Whee! Depth module, mark one. This is gonna add, I think, what did it say, 400 meters? I don't know, we'll check it out in a second. Prawn suit jump jet upgrade. That's gonna be fantastic because Brawny Runs out of gas when he's jumping around. And we need a little extra boost. Prawn suit grappling arm. That's going to help navigating around deep caverns and so forth. And I cannot wait to try him out. Now we got to get him on the big feller. And that means we got to drop him down into the water because I cannot access the upgrade modules from up here or from that vehicle station, which is really weird, but that's how it works. So in we go. And. Release! Captain. Hi, Brawny. I got some stuff for you here, buddy. You're gonna love it. Now, Brawny already has a couple of upgrades, so let's, uh, what do we have? Two storage modules and a hull reinforcement. So we can't put the depth module and the jump jet upgrade in at the same time, unless I remove one of the storage modules. 
Let's put the depth module in his trunk. We're not going to need that all the time. He can already go down 900 meters. So we're just going to put the jump jet upgrade in. And of course the grappling arm, which goes in the arm slot. Oh yeah, sweet. Can't wait to try it. And we'll stuff that in here. So if we ever decide to go down below 900, we whip that thing out and shove it in his access slot. Take out one of those uh, other upgrades. Whoa, holy smokes. Wow, that jump jet is amazing. Look at this. Woo. Man, we shot right up. We're going to get right to the surface. We still have some energy left. Wow. Oh, he <laughs> popped right out of the water. <laughs> Like a jumping fish. That's great. And how about that grapple arm? Oh, oh. Oh, that's cool. Can we grab onto Willy? Hold on. You got to hold it down. You got to hold it down. There we go. Oh, wow. That's got some reach. Hey, Willy. <laughs> Sorry about the grappling hook there in your gut. But, oh my gosh, that thing's amazing. All right, grab on, Willy. You can't play that trick on me anymore where I fall all the way down to the floor of the ocean. Aha. Got you now. We got your number now, big guy. All right, that is awesome. All right, let's go. Let's go try that again. Watch this jump jet. I may not even need the grappling arm of this jump jet. It's crazy. Yeah, you get superior jump height and thrust, and woo! You can pop right out of the water. Oh, baby, that's amazing. And you can use the grapple arm to pull you right over to something quick. And bounce off of it like that. All right, back to the to-do list. What is next? Modification station upgrade. And we're going to build a high ultra high capacity oxygen tank on that. A new dagger and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, first of all, we need to get the modification station out here. And I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Modification station, advanced fabricator for modification of survival equipment. We need a computer chip, a diamond, and lead. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Do we have a diamond left? Do we have a diamond? We have one diamond left. Woo, okay. Uh, what was that? Computer chip, it said? Computer chip, we got a couple of those. And one more lead. Where's my lead at? Over here. Bam, easy peasy. Now we gotta figure out where we're going to install it. How big is the thing? Oh, it's not that big. We can put it right here in front of the battery and power cell recharger units. But I hate to block access to those. Uh, yeah, this works area is pretty full. How about if we get rid of the counter? I don't really need the counter. You can't do anything with it. It doesn't provide any storage or anything. And we can plop it down right here in front of the coffee machine? Well, let's get rid of the coffee machine too. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll get another one up. We'll get it, we'll get it up over here. Beautiful. I sure can. Give me one. All right, while we're waiting for a coffee, let's get our modification station right here. Can't put it too close to the wall, apparently. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, coffee's done. Thank you. That looks good. As close to the wall as possible. Yeah, it's a little unit. Holy cow, look at all the new stuff we can make. Thermal blade, survival knife, and a battery. This cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate consumption. Oh, we got to do that. Here's the air uh, tank, the ultra high capacity tank for lithium and the tank that I already have. All right, fin upgrades. We need rubber. We got some of that. Repulsion cannon. Oh, nice. So this is how you make it. I've been wondering. Magnetite computer chip. Cyclops upgrades. Oh, yeah. Depth module upgrades. Uh, and Seamoth upgrades. Not too interested in that. We don't really use Bumblebee much anymore, sadly. So, all right. Yeah, let me go grab all this stuff. Lithium, rubber, computer chip, magnetite. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. Computer chip, rubber. Here we go. Here we go. Survival knife upgrade. Thermal blade. Cannot wait to try that on something. So it upgrades the knife that we already had. Oh, let's bring it up. Oh, look at that. Looks super hot. And it's sizzling. Ooh, all right, put it down before somebody gets burned. Air tank upgrade. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, I guess I have to take my air tank off. All right, unequip it. And let's upgrade that puppy. There it is. Bang. Go, little guys, go. 
I love these little 3D printer things. They're amazing. And where is it then? Oh, it went right in the slot. 180 seconds of oxygen. Three minutes. What was the other one? Uh, I didn't happen to notice. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't that much. And oh, I gotta take my fins off. Right. Ooh, gosh, this is gonna smell. I haven't had these things off in a long, long time. Ew! That stinks. All right. New fins coming. Brand spanking new. And they're a perfect fit. Streamlined construction enhances swim speed considerably by comparison to regular fins. Ultra glide, they call them. And they're so comfortable, let me tell you. And propulsion cannon. Oh, dang it. That's on, uh, it's on Willy. All right, we gotta go over to Willy and grab our, um, grab that propulsion cannon. So, yeah, let's go do that. We'll try out some of this new equipment. Let's stab a peeper. Hey, peeps, come here. I want to try my new knife. It's for science. Oh, look at him go. Thanks, I appreciate it. Oh, I missed. Cooked peeper. One hit, it cooked him in one hit. Foo 32 plus 5 H2O. Whoa, man. Now that's fast food. <laughs> Holy cow, that is amazing. You can just eat on the run. Look at that. All right, that's pretty cool. Love my thermal blade. And look at that new air tank. We still have two minutes left of air. We've been down here for all that time, and I feel like I can just stay down here forever. Uh, what are we making again? Propulsion, yeah, repulsion cannon. Got everything we need. Here it comes. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Repulsion cannon. Applies percussive force to entities in range. Ooh. I say we go try that out right now. <laughs> um... Freddy. Hey, Fred. Come here, buddy. I want to try something on you. Boom. <laughs> Look at him doing flips. I'm so sorry, Fred. I just had to do it. I was so tempted. There he goes. Oh, he didn't like that at all. Um, come back. Come back. I didn't mean it. All right. I put the, I put the repulsion cannon away. You can come back, Fred. Yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Here he comes. Wow. That thing was amazing. Now, I guess I don't have a propulsion cannon anymore, do I? It'd be cool if you could switch modes on, on one cannon, right? All right, the upgrades are now complete. So let's catch up on a little bit of reading here. We found uh, some PDAs and we did some scanning and all that jazz down in that blood kelp trench area. So let's just get this out of the way. You guys can read these if you want. I'm not going to read them here on camera. We do have to go back to the Blood Kelp Trench because I have to scan the giant skulls and skeletons. I don't know how the heck I missed that, but I did. And many of you pointed that out ah, in the comments section of that last video. So, yep, we're heading back. <laughs> so we'll go back and do that right now. What the heck? Somebody knocking? Hello? Who is that? Freddy? What up, Fred? What's going on, dude? Yeah, sorry about the, the whole repulsion thing. Oh, great. See, see, he's, he's repulsing us now. Welcome yeah, yeah. Okay, now it's even. Oh, we gotta get, uh, we gotta get Brawny. So yeah, we're ready to go. I don't think I need anything here. Let's grab Brawny. Let ow. Let's get to Cyclops, and let's get moving. Can I get in from here? Aboard, yep. Captain. Bye, Abby. Nice to see you. <laughs> kind of reaches that thing have? Oh, not quite that much. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to go back the other way now. Got to get used to this thing. <laughs> All right, Willie. Crank up them engines, buddy. Powering up. Very good. See ya, Freddy. Catch up to you later. All right, we're going to go south because there's a uh, another base down here somewhere. A Degassi base. And I think it's pretty integral to the story. We have to find that base. And that'll give us a location to another base where we can get that orange tablet, or at least the location to the orange tablet, I think, to unlock that um, laboratory that we found. What is that? It's a floating rock. Oh, well, why don't you just hit it then, dummy? <laughs> so give me a minute to try to locate this base. It's around here somewhere down in the depths. And here we go. Now it's a little deeper. We can go down, do some scanning. Oh, gosh. Scraping something. I think this is it right here. 
It's in a cave, apparently, and I don't remember going down in this cave. And there's some purpley things down there that I do not recognize, so let's kill that engine. Thanks, Willy. Hop out of the pilot seat. And let's drop on down. I'm gonna grab a few of these lantern fruits right quick. Although we can't always stop and get some fast food, right? <laughs> I love that. What a great idea. All right, hop in, Brody. I'm driving. Whee! Hey, Brody. All right, going down with our new grappling arm. Let's go check that thing out. Purpley stuff. And never mind. Just drop. Never mind. Holy cow. Whoa, still going. Dang, it's deep down here. Woo! Holy cow, it's still going. <laughs> Oh, there it is! There's the base! I knew it! Yes, the Degassi base! Remember the Degassis, Paul Blart? And, uh, the girl that wanted to kill him or something? <laughs> I don't remember the whole story, but we found some bases up on the surface on a floating island, and, uh, they had moved from there to somewhere else, and apparently this is where they moved to. So, yeah, this is fantastic. Oh, what's that? What is that? Magnetite? Oh, that's perfect, because we needed some magnetite. There's a little bit right here. In this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life force. Eh? Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Yeah, think so, Abby? Stating the obvious there, honey. All right, yeah. So we got some mushrooms. Can we take any of these? Oh, yes, we can. Jelly shroom spore. They're beautiful. And they light everything up. Let's put it in Brawny's trunk. All right, we're going in. How do we go in? Not there, apparently. Oh my gosh, what is that thing? It's a giant eel. Oh, there's more than one. Yep. Predator's here. Let's get back into Brawny and try to find an opening in this base. That door is apparently rusted shut. Oh, there's a PDA right there. I can't smash the window. I don't have. I can't punch. Oh, is it? The window's gone? Wait a minute. Can I get in there? Well, the arm went through, but I can't go through. All right, I'm gonna go find a door. What is that thing right there? Oh, a stasis rifle fragment. Oh, I remember this thing from the old Alpha days. We need one more scan. Yeah, I remember those things from the Alpha days. You could shoot. It's like a stun gun of some kind. Or it puts creatures in some kind of stasis. Now, what are these things? Stingers. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Alright, I can't get any samples from the stingers, but I don't want to get too close with a name like Stinger. Might want to give it a wide berth, huh? Alright, I see an opening over there. Alright, here we go. Back into Brawny. Let's go, Brawny. Let's go give these eels a little what for, huh? Drill them if need be. This is so beautiful down here. I love it. You guys want some fast food? Let's grab a peeper. Wait a minute. It's not even a peeper, is it? This is not even a peeper. What the heck is it? Oculus. Plus 30 food, plus 2 H2O. Not very hydrating. And I'd like to scan that. Oh, here he comes. What's he doing? Is he attacking Brawny? Oh, I'm going to get in Brawny. I'm going to drill this guy. Get drilled! <laughs> Ooh, it works! It's working! He's stuck in the door! I wanna knock him out so I can scan him! Drill him good, Brody! Got him! Yeah, he's out! Crab snake! I mean, it looks like a snake, it doesn't look much like a crab. Oh, that's a hard shell. How hard is it? It's pretty hard! He's knocked out cold. He will wake up, though. I think he's not dead, is he? I don't think he's dead. He's giant, though. Look at the size of this fella. Ew, it's ugly. Look at those teeth. Okay, I've seen enough of the crab snake. <laughs> Let's get inside the base. Our new high-capacity air tank. Oh, watch out for the stingers. Watch out for those little stingers. So clearly there's nobody here anymore. What's this? I can scan the paper? It wants me to scan something. I just don't know what. Ah, oh, water filtration machine. We can make our own potable water with this thing. Fantastic. 
No more drinking bleach. Water filtration system, only one scan required. That is nice. Very nice indeed. It's PDA here. Watch out for those stingers. Ow! What'd I say? Integrating new PDA data. Bart Torgel's data log. Yeah, that's the guy I was talking about, Paul Blart. Let's um let's continue on while we still have some O2 in the tank. Signal location uploaded to PDA. That's what we're looking for. Woo! That dude's out there. New PDA data. Yeah, we definitely wanted that location of the other bases because we got to find the orange tablet, right? And I think it is in one of the Degassi bases. Oh, stuck. Okay, here's another PDA. Grab it. We'll read all these when we get back to Brawny. Achievement unlocked. Follow the Degassi. Yeah, see? They clearly did not survive here for very long. <laughs> They had to vacate this. Ooh, Brawny took some hits, huh? That thing was attacking. I didn't even notice. Gotta fix them all. Big double bed. Wall planter. Yeah, this place is a disaster. And there's that PDA I was trying to get through the window. Another voice log. Locker's empty. That's rusted shut. We still need one more fragment of the stasis rifle, and I bet it's around here. Oh, here's a PDA. Wow, it's like four PDAs so far. Pecking order, okay. We'll read all those in a second, but we did get a new waypoint somewhere on the map. Yeah, there it is. Proposed to gassy habitat. Okay, well, I guess we got some reading to do. <laughs> Let's listen to the voice log first. Torgal's log number one, this world. It is a voice log. Thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a Welcome way a spectroscopic party. analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. All right, we got a delayed blueprint jingle, and we got the stasis rifle. So, looking forward to making that. All right, log number two is about stalker teeth. Something Let's incredible listen. just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. 
She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. So he's talking about enamel glass, right? That you can make with the stalker teeth. And it looks like they made that uh, observation room there. I'm pretty sure we already scanned that. We can make one. Margaret. And there's her PDA right here. Pick it up. All right, this packing order. I, I don't think we need to listen to that one. How about deeper? What is this one here? We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Whoo! Man, those things have a nasty bite, don't they? And that other one? I don't think he's waking up. <laughs> I thought maybe we just knocked him out, but I do believe it is dead. So yeah, it seems like Magda, is that her name? Magda went down here, the proposed gassy habitat. That's toward that trench that we were at. So we're gonna head back down there. Like I said, I gotta scan the, um, the skulls. I did not do that. So, we're gonna go do that probably in the next episode because I think we're out. Hey! So I think we're out of time right now. Alright, I think it's time to call it quits. I'm gonna get organized for the next episode. And we will go to the proposed Degassi habitat. And I am, of course, going to scan those skulls. Big giant fishy skulls. Can I go in there? Hmm, get down there. Brawny? Holy cow, yes we can! <laughs> what do we keep what can we do in here? Anything? What is that? What is that? Can I get it? Something down here. It's a creature egg inside the mushroom. That must be one of those crabby patties. Crabby eel guys. Crab snakes. So I think I might look around here and grab some more resources. There appears to be diamonds around. And we could use the diamonds, and I am going to grab a drink. And maybe stop and get some fast food here, because I'm getting hungry too. And then uh, we'll catch up in the next episode. So I hope you enjoy this one, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, don't need the gold.